Example 9.3. Two years ago, Toshiba Electronics made a $15 million investment in new assembly line machinery. It purchased approximately 200 units at $70,000 each and placed them in plants in 10 different countries. The equipment sorts, tests, and performs insertion order kitting on electronic components in preparation for special purpose printed circuit boards. A new international industry standard requires a $16,000 additional cost next year, year one of retention, on each unit in addition to the expected operating cost. Due to the new standards, coupled with rapidly changing technology, a new system is challenging these two-year-old machines. The chief engineer at Toshiba USA has asked that a replacement study be performed this year and each year in the future if need be. At I equals 10% and with the estimates below, do the following. Part A. Determine the annual worth values and economic service lives necessary to perform the replacement study. And then we have the challenger and the defender. Okay, so this example, it's a little bit long and it has parts A, B, and C, but we're going to take it one part at a time. Um, okay, so first of all, there's two ways to perform a replacement study. The first one, this is the one that we're going to be covering in this example, is with no study period specified. In this case, we will find the annual worth of the defender and the annual worth of the challenger using the ESL that we computer, computed and that we practiced in example 9.2. Okay, so we will be looking for ESLs for both the defender and the challenger and then we're going to be selecting the best one. There are some steps that we must follow when we are not given a study period, which is uh, this branch. And even before we start with number one, they're asking us that we must find the ESL and the annual worth values for both the challenger and the defender, as I mentioned in the previous slide. So that's exactly what part A is asking us to compute. Okay, so let's, let's see what we have here. Uh, first of all, yes, they're talking about a $15 million investment. But note that this was done two years ago because this is the Defender. So this is the current system. So even though we have an amount here, this is a sunk cost or an irrelevant cost because we will be performing the study this year. Okay, so we do not need to know how much it costs uh, in the past or two years ago in this case. Okay, so now let's look at, well, we have the interest rate hi given here. And then we have our values given for both the challenger and the defender. For the challenger, it says that it has a first cost of 50,000. Okay, so this will be our P. It has future market values decreasing by 20% per year. Now here they, they do not give us the actual amounts. We would have to compute them by decreasing the value, the first cost, 20% per year. We will calculate that uh, in a minute. So all of these will be your salvage values in years one, two, three, and so forth, up to the retention period, which is no more than five years, this would be your largest K. So it would go future market values from one through five. Then you have the annual operating cost estimates. You have $5,000 in year one with increases of $2,000 per year thereafter. So yes, we are given the annual operating cost, but then they note here that there's an increase in the cost. So it is not uniform, but you do have the same increase every year. So that means that you have a gradient. And we will be referring to case number two 
from slide 9-11. Uh, we will start with the challenger and we'll take a look at the defender uh, later on. Let's start with part A, which is the annual worth and finding the ESL. But let's look at the challenger first. Okay, so I'm going to write down the general equation for this, which is the total annual worth in year K going to be minus P, find a given P, the interest rate in year K plus the salvage value in year K find a given F at an interest in year K minus the annual worth of annual operating cost and I specify that it's the annual worth because here we don't we don't have the annual worth given we have to get it from the gradient since we're not given this in a table form it would be easier to visualize so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna have year. Uh, then I'm going to list all five years here, but I'm going to start with the year zero so that we preserve the timeline. So I have your zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Then uh, I'm going to list the first cost which is our P, the market value, which in this case will be the salvage value in the individual years, and then the annual operating cost, which at this time is not the annual. Okay, so I have the first cost that is mentioned, minus 50,000, this occurs in year zero uh, and then we don't have any more first costs here and then we have the market values there's no market value in year zero because uh, remember these are kind of like our salvage values it decreases by 20 percent okay so 20 percent of 50,000 would be 5 plus 5 10 so it'd be 50 minus 10 so we will have 40,000 and then if you keep on uh, decreasing this by 20% so now 20% um, of this would be 4 plus 4, 8 so it's going to be 40 minus 8 giving us 32,000 and then we continue subtracting 20% to get 25,600 then 20,480 and then lastly, 16,384. Uh, I'm going to write down the annual uh, operation costs. We have 5,000 in year one. Remember, there's no operation cost in year zero. Uh, so we start with the minus 5,000. And then with increases of 2,000 per year. So now it's going to be minus 7,000. 9,000 minus 11,000 and minus 13,000. So it's easier to see the whole picture from a table rather than a paragraph. So table is encouraged. Okay, so just let me uh, point out what we have here. Remember that we mentioned that this is going to be S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5. And sometimes in other problems, you will see that they just have one row for both the first cost and the market value. So this will be your S0, as mentioned also in the previous example. Then from here to here to there, year to year, we have a base 
of 5,000 and the gradient will be 2,000. Okay. So now let's start getting the annual worth for each and one um, of the years. Okay, so let's get the annual worth for year one. Okay, and we'll we're basing ourselves in this formula. Minus fifty thousand. Find A given P at ten percent for year one plus forty, we only use the S one, forty thousand find A given F ten percent also one. At this point we only have the base. Okay, so we don't have a gradient yet because we are in year one. So for the first year we only subtract the five thousand. Okay, so plug in your factors and you will get minus twenty thousand. Now the annual worth for year two. Same 50,000 for the present, find a given p, 10%, but now we're doing year two, plus whatever we have in uh, the second year for the s, 32,000, find a given f, 10%, 2, and now we can start with the gradient the base and the gradient. We know that the base is an A, okay, but let me put the whole thing together. So we're going to subtract this because it's a cost. We know that the base will be 5,000 and then the gradient is the 2,000. But we must convert the gradient, not the base. So this will be find A given G at 10% for two years. And after solving this, you will get minus 19,524. Then we have annual worth of year three, same P, but now for three years plus S3, so this is going to be plus 25,600, find a given F, 10% for three years. And you may recycle this inside the brackets, because now it's going to be 5K, which is still the base, same base. The gradient doesn't change, there's only one thing that changes here which is going to be the number of years, okay. but the rest is the same. This will give us minus 19,245. Annual worth of year four, I'm not going to write down the entire equation, just remember to change the years, change the SK, the year, and over here only change the year to four. You will get for annual worth of year four minus 19,123. And for the annual worth of year five, which is the last one, you will get minus 19,126. Okay, so here you will see that it starts decreasing up to here and then you see a slight increase in year five. So therefore, this is the lowest amount. It's going to be the ESL, okay, in this case for the challenger. Or we can also say that this is going to be 
the annual worth that we're going to be using for the challenger or the N that we're going to be using for the challenger in the replacement study.